All right, we're back. Um, just want to show you something. This is what saving looks like now. I love it. Also, interactables. And I can't hit my partner. <laughs> okay, people. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, because that's what we need. Just. Oh my god. I'm a menace. Wow, they put a lot of effort into like the small things. If I hit them and then talk to them, it's fine. Okay, credit card. Give him a wallop for me, bitch. Okay. Oh, hello, you. Oh, freeze. You two, not another step. Don't come with this way. Okay. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch! Okay, okay, I hear you. Um... So how's life? You doing alright? Nice weather today, huh? Man, screw this. <laughs> I smashed it with a hammer. Oh! When I used to do this, in the original, you would crack the contacts lens. Huh. There we go. <laughs> Ah, idiot, you stepped on it. My poor contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? Mm -mm, I didn't do it. But you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. No. Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Yeah? Help me! Anyway, uh, <laughs> the fact that I can hit people is ridiculous. Let's go get that contact lens. Oh, they have mustaches now. I don't think they've ever had mustaches. <laughs> Welcome to Toad Bros Bazaar. What's that? You want a contact lens? Wait just a moment. Oh, wait a minute. There's an item missing from here. Gee, fellow, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Sure. But hey, something's missing from your store. Where are the freight masks? Everything else is here. But where are the freight masks? It was such a good speedrunning tactic. Oh no, I know how this game's gonna go. They're gonna eliminate every possible way to speedrun the game. Well then, yeah, we got the point system. It, how many items can I hold? 15? Yeah, you get prizes and whatnot. Post it on the shop. Let's see what they changed. Uh, you can store and withdraw items, points, sell items, yeah. So apparently... Oops. I, I keep thinking it's X because it was X in the original. Now it's plus. So, oh, this is a pretty little menu. So, now I can hold 15 items, but I remember... You can get a strange sack that can let you hold 20. So now, what, can you hold 30? Good sort now, which is cool. Journal, tatter, art gallery. Collect all the star pieces in and under rogue port to unlock. And collect all the shine sprites in and under rogue port to unlock. Oh, cool. I'm glad there's some extra stuff. We have some rumble. We have brightness. Hold on. Oh my god, that's a flashbang. We'll keep it at zero. And we can just go to the title screen. So, Mushroom, Ice Storm... Yeah, I think everything here is roughly the same. Yeah, I think it's almost exactly the same. But what happened to the Fright Masks? They used to be here. I'm not stupid. I remember there being Fright Masks here for like three coins. Did they just get rid of it completely? Look at that. There's a Koopa wearing a hat here. I don't know that's a reference to. There's the Graffiti Corner. Podley's Best Customer. Ah, yes, in the end. Well, let's just see if we can find uh, Professor Frankly. Except, oh no! We've been robbed! Pardon me, sucker. I'm talking to you! Some people are so rude. Oh wow! So normally Goombella would tell you that you've been robbed. But, no, not this time. I know where that bitch is, though. Oh, not the loading time, though. Oh. Like, I get it, but damn it. It would, I don't think it was ever that long. We, God, there even had to be a small transition 
because he couldn't do like the 3D thing. Oh no, the Switch seen better days. Hello, bitch. Oops. Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent. What a pain. Fine, fine. You got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Bitch. Fuck! God, I'm not gonna get used to that transition. I'm used to it actually panning in real time. God, they couldn't do that, could they? Oh well. It's not the end of the world, but... Gee, I don't know. It just shows how powerful the Switch is. Yep, everything here is still in the back. I'm glad that things are interactable. Um, I don't really know where everything is. Yay, but I got a star piece. Oh, they don't give an explanation of the star pieces anymore. I wonder if they changed uh, how they work. So I could fight this guy, but it's not worth it. Not yet. And Professor Frankly, I'm glad they have a nice sign on the house for anybody who doesn't know. Professor Frankly. Oh yeah, I could jam to this. Who wants me? Now you, wait for it, just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence, I'll get it right. Silence, you wench. It's not Goombriel. It's not Illigazoom. Mmm. Mmm. I've got it. You're a Goombella. You were in my archaeology class last year. Go Goombas. Not, not to my home, I'm pretty remembering. <laughs> and that guy behind you is... Who am I? Who? <laughs> you know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't got a clue what's hip right now. God, they got that. What sort of errand brings you all the way to a place like this? The legendary treasure. Yep, yep. The reason I came was to study that very subject. Why do you tykes want to know? You know, you know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still other claims it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Yep, yep. Crystal stars. Yes. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. Yeah, so that's pretty much the con- Yes, the concept of the game is collect the crystal stars. If only we had the map. We do have it. Not we, Mario has it. What? Yo, the facial expressions. I'm gonna hibbity 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 God, I, I, I liked it more in the original because it scrolled so fast and there was nothing you could do about it. Actually, can I go back in text? No, I can't, right? Like, I remember in the GameCube version, you can go back in text. But you can't. I'm pressing every button. Oh, wow. You can't go back and text anymore. What, did they feel like that was not necessary? Hmm. This is it. This is the real thing. The one and only magical map. You're my hero. You're great. Let's take it to the thousand year door. Yes, let's. Let's go. down. There we go. Oh wait, hang on a second. Something just occurred to me. Yeah, what's up? There are quite a few hoodlums, so keep your guard up. Would you two like to practice action commands? Uh, maybe they changed it, so sure. Oh, small short story. I was given a mini heart attack earlier in the week because uh, back in the, in the US, a lot of people were uh, getting their pre-orders cancelled by both Walmart and uh, Amazon. Ah, yes, good jam. And, um, unfortunately, the last thing I needed was to have my pre-order cancelled, because I pre-ordered it with Walmart. And so I was just so scared it was going to get cancelled, like, the day before, and I would have to, like... God, it would have been so bad. I really wanted this game, and the last thing I needed is Walmart going back. And, and it's so funny, because Walmart literally... What did they, what'd they say? They said, oh yeah, uh, we're cancelling pre-orders online, because Nintendo isn't letting us sell physical copies of the game online. Which is a load of garbage. It's a bunch of barnacles. Is it's, 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 it's that like the most blatant lie ever? Because Nintendo has allowed them to sell pre-orders for so many different things. I just don't get it. All right, here we go. You choose command. Yep, yep, yep. So I got that much. Yeah. 
so I could fail it. Because in the original, you would actually pause. Like, you would pause mid-action to do the action. Get ready, Mario. Press A just before your enemy strikes you. I think they might have changed the timing, but I'm not so sure. Okay, so we got the hammer next. Hold left and release it when it lights up. Yep. Yeah, it won't let me do stylish because of the tutorial. Yep. An incredible technique. Press B at the exact time. Let's see. Too soon, okay. Hey, listen, it's not easy. There we go. You take no damage, and you damage your enemy. Yep. They're harder to do than A-guards. Use them wisely between. Yep. Professional here. Stop for now. Yeah, like, super guards are really difficult. They were difficult in the other in the previous game. But, like... The fact that there's no slowdown mechanics to give you, um... Oh, shit. So it's not going down. What? But that was my favorite thing, hitting down on a pipe. Now I have to just hit the button? Uh, talk about modernization. Ooh. Cool little animation. And an unnecessary loading screen. Uh, the switch. Let's go this way. Because <laughs> this is not where plot is. This is just... This is what the place you used to go to, to know where you have to go next. Mer... Melovi. The fortune teller. My next path. Star pieces, shine sprites. I'm good. They actually decreased the price for shine sprites. I don't think it was ever 10 coins. Okay, let's keep going. So nice and shiny. An R underground? Oh, just a bunch of Goombas. Ooh, I get to see the sun. I get to blink. They, they changed up some of these things. Teach you some proper manners. Can't do academics in a world famous heroes. Go into sewers. Because it stinks. Ouch, that was cold. Too good for a fight? If you're looking to tussle, then stay out of the sewer. No one doesn't start fighting nobody. Let's get him. Yeah, they changed that. They hit on Goombella in the original. And it's like, makes me want to barf. Oh, God. No. No. Well, at least glad this. They also have um, unique animations, so I like that. Study your turn. Yep, yep. That's right, forgot to tell you something. You can press Y to change, yep. It's a title. That's a Goomba. Yeah, I'm one of those in case you haven't noticed. I'm glad some of these didn't change. Underlings of underlings. That's totally rude. 2 HP, 1 attack, defense. Yep, I get the underling thing now. Time to beat him over the head with a hammer. What the hell? Okay, I'm definitely having a hard time with the action command. To be fair though, it was the same on the GameCube version, because I'm bad now. What a creative name. God, everything looks so nice and modern, and I appreciate that. But like, I don't know, I feel jiped, in a sense. Some of the humor is gone. I hit it, though! Something ain't right here. I'm getting that right. Oh, I didn't do the pair, Goomba. I'm dumb. I, I, I was just rushing, I guess. Yeah, but something doesn't feel right. I blame the Pro Controller. Money. Wait, we never used to get money for that. Yeah, for a strike. Remember all that. God, so I'm having a hard time trying to do these action commands. Now, I could just chalk it up to a skill issue. But at the same time, I don't know, it just doesn't feel the same. Not being able to hit down on the pipes feels weird. You go down pipes, just like in the original games. You struck first. Nice. They tell you when to do the command, which is cool. But, I don't know, I feel just... Nope. Hit. Yeah, no, something doesn't feel right. 
how to, I don't know if it's the game buffering or if the pro controller's crap. Goomba with wings, I'm jealous, yep. Can't hammer, yep. No one ever talks about this. Yeah, it's like you clip something's wings for the rest of its life. Loving the music though. That's one thing that's one thing I have to basically say is amazing. Because it's so jazz like. I love it. God, yeah, it feels so nice. Items. You got an item. Yep, yep. Also, I'm glad that all the items don't scatter. So now you can pick them up in one place. Oh? Why? This never used to be sealed off. You used to be able to walk into it. You, able, you wouldn't be able to go any farther because you'd need other things. But it was never sealed off. How interesting. Oh, hello there. No. <laughs> no, you. These guys have three health. So what I'll do is tattle first and then kill it. Or no. Uh, yeah. No, I need to practice my, my action guards. A spinia. Let's go to he ya. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, no wonder why it feels different. You can buffer it. That's so weird. I've never seen that before. Wow, I'm just speechless. The fact that they changed up the combat system a little bit. Before it was dependent on the attack in question. Now it's just an actual action where if the action overlaps the attack, you do it successfully. <laughs> Hey, I got a, a heart back. We'll take it. Hold on, I know what's behind this. Uh, no? I'm wrong? No, it's right here. It was behind the pipe. Or next to the pipe, I should say. There's the key. Stairs. Yes, and I can hit with a, I can hit, I can hit Professor Frankly. What's interesting is I know for a fact that Charles Mertnier, he's retired now. So they got the new guy doing it. But this, this sounds like his voice. Again, I'm no professional or anything like that, but it was the same thing in Mario versus Donkey Kong. Can you hear me? You can. That must be near the hero of legend. Only the great hero hear my voice. Nobody else. Yeah, yeah, it's the spiel of the black box. All right, a word with you. I'm not in Dexter confident we can trust this chest. It may not be best to mention it because we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, Drat, I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I'm so... Yeah, that's another thing I really love. It's the friggin' uh, facial expressions. Key to the chest, yep. All right, let's just get this over with. <laughs> Like special, like I'm seeing it all. And it's like there's special effects. There's detail to everything, right? Like it definitely feels like an upgraded remake of a game. You brought the key. Are you big? There you go. Thank, ha, thank nothing. We fools. Whoa. Did you fall for it? I burned you. What do you think I was gonna help you? Spreading suffering. I'm casting evil, terrible curse. Boogly woogly woo. You cursed. Oh! The lightning bolt. I guess the flashing of the screen would cause some seizures, so <laughs> it's a good thing they changed it. If you press Y in certain areas, return to an airplane. Trembling. Yeah. Can't help but chortle. Who's Chortle? If you stand on an airplane panel, it'll glow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure pressing Y and then bam, you're a paper airplane. Yep. 
We control tiny while tilting forward and back. Forward and back. Okay, so left and right is what they mean. Okay. Um, I don't know why that was necessary. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. I've been cursed. Wee hee hee. Uh, just wow. What was that guy's beef? Yep. I don't know either. Come on, let's get to the thousand year door already. They changed it a little bit, but I can still do this, baby. <laughs> See ya. Oh, hello. Wow, that just looks so majestic. Look at that. Yeah, I see it. I can't believe it's real. Legends are all true. Come, let's move closer. Yeah, sure. Let's see what's here. Hello. Come on. Oh, man, here's the flashing lights. I don't think they can avoid this. What's going on? Here we go. Well, they're not, hmm. So, in the original game... Oh, please tell me they get... Nope, they didn't do it. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Okay, so two things. Because I'm nitpicking heavily, because this is my favorite game of all time. Number one, when they showed the crystal star, you actually saw a moving, like, animated crystal star in the original game. And then secondly, when you did get the crystal star, there was, like, this weird waveform effect where it broke into paper right to show that something changed in the map now they did half of that when they showed the resonating wave but they never did the actual uh crumbling effect so to say and i know i'm being very nitpicky here but this is my all-time favorite game i have to be nitpicky i know almost everything about this game oh boy let's see what happens yeah just looking at the map getting the special powers knowing where to get the first crystal star Whew. Just so much predisposition in the beginning of the game, but that's okay. I mean, you gotta build a story somehow. Like, how else do you do that? You have to do that. Do you understand, Professor? Of course I do, and I shall explain. The first thing to know is, this map is truly astounding. Somehow the map contains radar-like functions, showing us the location of the Crystal Star. Yep. Petal Meadows is where we're going now. Tad suspicious. Petal Meadows did come up with the time from the time of my research. Someone beneath the city has a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you can just find that, you can get there instantly. Pipe travel efficient. Oh, I know how to get there, all right. How'd you get that map, anyway? From Prin Princess Peach. The princess. This wouldn't be her, would it? Yes, it is. So it is her. The princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. Ooh, new music. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. She may have tried to go there on her own. I can't imagine getting involved with them. Yep. Mm-hmm. That is Princess Peach. Nah, pressure's not coming. Of course not. Which is understandable. Let's go. Proper farewell. There's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on you. They can now perform a special move. Let's try it out. Let's see if it's any different now. I know this episode's a little longer than the first one, but screw it. Just about to wrap up soon. Star Power Gauge. Yep, we got one right there. This allows us to use special moves. Repeatedly tilt left to shoot hearts and flowers. Yep. 
Let's see how the buffer is on this one. Oh, wow. Go! <laughs> I'm gonna hit a poison mushroom at this rate. Good enough. Down it goes. It gets empty, and if it empties out, it still charge up again. We have an audience now. Hello, Toads. Try to attack me. Yeah, no reserves, just... Stylish moves increase it as well. That's why I always do them. It allows me to actually get star power. The thing is, though, I'm not sure if um, it helps with the tutorial battle here, but... Hey, I'll take anything. Got 15 people in the audience. Sweet. The appeal to get star power. And he gives us a badge. Take this with you. There's a minor difference here. Before he does the tutorial and gives us the Power Smash badge, it's actually reversed. He gives you the Power Smash badge first, and then he does the tutorial. But the thing is, though, he's actually in his office first, like in his house, and then he busts out with the door holding it. This time around, he actually comes with us and then does everything in a different order. That I'm not too upset about. I don't mind that. It's minor. But just something food for thought, right? Sure, let's see if it's different. Open the menu. I am pressing the pad. Oh, plus. That looks like a D-pad to me. BP. Yeah, seems about the same. Flower points to use them, yep. Yep, we do, we'll do just that, but now I'm calling it a part. Because this is probably a longer episode because of all the disposition, but again, it's story building. You gotta do story building and world building. So, um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care of yourselves, alright?